Hi, it's Leo McKay, and I'm back with another of my 26 reasons why you should recommend my 2003 novel, 26, for this year's Canada Reads. Reason number six, look at this cover. Always judge a book by its cover. This is a really nice cover. I had nothing to do with this cover. This cover was chosen by my publisher, McClelland and Stewart. What series of decisions, uh, what series of discussions led to the choosing of this cover, I have no idea. But I really like this cover. It's two hands gripping a rope. It's two kind of rugged looking hands. The cover suggests struggle. It suggests determination. Also, this cover comes with an interesting story. And I'll try to keep this short. In about, oh, it must have been uh, late 2002 or early 2003 when this book, 26, was in production. That means when they were actually printing the book up. Um, I got a phone call from my editor in Toronto and she said that they had uh, a mock-up made of the cover and they were going to send it to me. She said she's not going to tell me anything about it. Uh, she just wants me to see it fresh. Should be, should, they, they courier it, it should arrive tomorrow. So that night I'm putting my son to bed and I mentioned to him that he's eight years old at the time and I mentioned to him, tomorrow I'm going to see uh, the cover of my book. And at the time, he really knows nothing about the book whatsoever. I don't even know if he knows the title, to tell you the truth. Um, and I said to him, I'm going to get the cover and I'm quite excited to see what the cover will look like. And he says to me, completely nonchalantly, I think I know what the cover is. And I pause and think, well, how could he know this? But anyway, I said, well, what do you think it is? And he said, I think it's a cliff with a man hanging off the cliff on a rope. And I said, oh, okay, interesting. I, at the time, I thought it has nothing to do with my book. Uh, I got this cover in the mail the next day. The courier came and I didn't notice the similarities between this cover, the two hands holding onto the rope, and what my son had said until that night at dinner. My family were discussing, we were looking at the cover, and I said, oh son, tell everyone what you thought the cover was going to be, and he said, he described it, and then I realized, oh, that kind of is the cover. So somehow my son had intuited the, the cover of the book and that made the cover all the more meaningful for me. So always judge a book by its cover. Go to this URL and recommend this book, 26, by Leo McKay Jr. for this year's Canada Reads. Hi. Hi, it's Leo McKay, and I'm back with another of my 26 reasons why you should recommend. Hello, I'm Leo McKay, and I'm back with another of my 26 reasons why you should recommend my 2003 novel, 26 for this year's Canada Reads. Oh, I can't remember what number it is. 